Hey, what's up you guys? And in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a tutorial that's going to teach you how to get iOS 7 for your iPhone 4, your iPhone 4s, or your iPhone 5. So unfortunately, this does not work on the iPad or the iPad mini yet. Hopefully that will be coming out sometime in the future. But as of now, we've got basically the app developers beta for iOS 7 here. Now it's very easy to install, very easy to update your iPhone to iOS 7. So I'm just going to be doing an example for you guys. I've got my iPhone 4s plugged into my computer right now. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's very easy. It works both on Windows and Mac. You don't really need, it doesn't really matter which, uh, which OS you're running on here. So all you have to do is go to this website that I'm going to drop down in the description and choose which device you have. So again, this only works with the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, and the iPhone 5. So hopefully in the future they'll probably update this and put on some iPad applications or some, some uh, iPad packages here. But uh, as of now, they only got the, uh, the 4, the 4S, and the 5. So what you're going to do here once you're on this website is find your de your desired iPhone and then click torrent. You can click direct but that will most likely take a little bit longer. I clicked torrent and only took about 15 minutes or so to download it. It's just a 1 gigabyte file for the uh, for the iPhone 4S. And to torrent it you're going to need this for Mac. Uh, if you want if you have Mac you can use BitTorrent. If you have uh, Windows you can use uTorrent or you can you know use whichever torrent client you would wish to use. So once you click torrent here and it's done torrenting You'll be given these two things right here. You'll be given this. You'll be given this folder here, and inside this folder is going to contain this README text. You don't really have to do anything with that, and it's also going to contain this little thing right here that kind of looks like a, a Lego piece. So what you're going to do here now is open up iTunes. Once you're in here, you're going to click on your iPhone little uh, iPhone application thing up here, and then you're going to be brought to this screen right here. Now all you got to do is click update. But before you click update, you have to hold Option on Mac or Shift on PC. So uh, I'm using a Windows a Windows keyboard on a Mac, so I'm going to click Alt and then left click this here and it's going to bring up this menu right here. This is going to allow you to choose which type of update or which uh, update you guys actually want to update it with. So click on this little Lego thing that you've uh, that you've saved. I like to save it on my desktop so I know where it is and I definitely won't lose it. So once you're on that, click Open. Now it's going to ask you this, you just click Update and now it's going to do all this stuff. This shouldn't take too long. I'll take a picture of what it looks like um, while it's updating for you guys so you guys can see what's actually happening. So right now it's just extracting the software and it's going to update the phone just like it would be a normal uh, you know a normal software update to uh, you know 6.1.3 or something like that. So again it's very easy guys this will work both on Mac and on Windows. So uh, it's a very you know it's a very easy thing to do and again I'll put the links to these actual uh, to these actual packages down in the description. Be sure to check those things out and hopefully you guys can get iOS 7 right onto your iPhone. So I'll do a little bit of a demo after this is done. So I'm going to stop the uh, I'm going to stop the recording right here and uh, hit you guys back once it's over. So right now guys on the screen is going to be a quick picture that's going to show you guys what it's going to look like on your iPhone while you're updating it. It's very quick, it actually took only about 5 to 10 minutes which may seem a little bit long to you guys but it's definitely worth it. I'll show you guys what it looks like now. I really haven't used it and I apologize if the camera's a little bit shaky. Uh, this is kind of a, a big camera so this is what it looks like guys um, and then the home screen right here so what you'll have to do is slide to unlock here and then enter your passcode my camera would focus. So it's going to keep asking me for my Facebook password for some reason. But yeah, guys, this is what it looks like here. If you guys can see that correctly. So it looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks a little bit like an Android slash a Galaxy phone in my opinion, but uh, it definitely has a lot, you know, a lot of better features than iOS 6 uh, has. So I haven't really explored all of the features it has, but this is really what it looks like. So um, here I'll go into settings. Yeah, so it looks, I mean, it looks a little bit weird. Uh, stupid password. Uh, I guess it wants my passwords for everything. Um, but yeah, it may look a little weird to you guys. I definitely think it's really cool. Definitely worth the update. So uh hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like slash a comment on this video. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to, to stay up to date on all of my videos that I'll be posting in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.